Lisa here, Vera Bradley Bag of the Day. Um, I know I just posted a video recently um, about the Stephanie bag, which I have recently fallen in love with, discovered and fallen in love with. Um, and I, <laughs> in my typical fashion, um, when I sort of get a little obsessed with something, um, proceeded to go online and continue to look at Stephanie bags in other patterns, um, particularly Yellowbird because that is my favorite um, pattern. <laughs> and I did find one and I just, even though um, I did just uh, do the other video, I, did, I, I just couldn't help myself. I just wanted to um, gush over this uh, bag and this pattern. Um, and also talk a little bit about pattern placement because I am kind of finicky about that. <laughs> so this was a really good price. I can't remember exactly. It might have been like something like $25 or something and it was new with tags. Um, and it came with a little, well, I didn't bring it out, but it came with a little um, kind of wristlet ID thing that I probably never would have bought, but actually really like. I have to do another post about that. <laughs> um, anyway, so it was a really good deal. So, um, and I washed it yesterday. It came yesterday and I threw it in the wash and it is still a little damp in the bottom. I'm realizing now I was so excited to want, you know, try to get a video up about it that it, it's not quite fully dry yet, but I did wash it even though it was new and it did seem new. Um, the fabric had that kind of crisp stiffness that the new fabric has, um, and it, ha you know, it has no wear or anything. Um, but still, I, I threw it in the, in the washing machine. I mean, I'm, unless I'm taking something home from the store, <laughs> I'll put it in the washing machine. Um, so anyway, when I saw this online, I, it was eBay, I think it was eBay. So I've just recently got, gotten onto Poshmark, which, God, is a whole other problem for me now, because now I have two sources. <laughs> anyway, when I saw this with the, um, oh, <laughs> with the bird over here, the full bird, I, I, I sort of, you know, started to shake a little bit. <laughs> um, and it, it is the only full bird on here. On the end here, uh, you know, you you get that little cutoff bird. At least the head's not cut off here, but the pretty tail is cut off, which is a shame because that you know curly cue in the tail really makes the whole, makes it. Um, but there is now uh, this goes against everything in me that is finicky about pattern placement with critters, especially um, and that there is a decapitated. Um, bird there. That's very unlike me to uh, buy something like that, but I just I just couldn't help myself, <laughs> which is sort of the theme of this video, I guess, is I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> um, I just I just had to have it, and I figure it's relatively inexpensive, um, and. You know, I'll just keep looking. That, that's my feeling, is that I'll, I'll probably always be looking around in the back of my mind, keeping my eye open for another Stephanie in Yellowbird to compare the bird placement. And if I see something, you know, that I like, I might consider um, also acquiring that one. <laughs> Dare I say that out loud? Um, but I, I'm just so pleased with this and, and very excited to use it and um, frustrated it's still wet. <laughs> but keeping with that theme, oh, and I should mention this was, um, I think this pattern is, what's on the bottom? Oh, there's a bird on the bottom. Look at that. So, okay, so that's my, uh, that's my secret bird. <laughs> um, that makes me feel a little bit better. And, and again, like, like the other... Uh, Stephanie bags, you know, it's great with the coordinating lining, which is this 
just this perfect yellow. It's just this perfect yellow. It's cotton. Um, and something I didn't mention, I think, in the other Stephanie video that I that I did is that I, I really like to use this bag and carry it by its handles and just let it hang. I mean, if I if I stand up, the bag won't be in the shot. But I do walk when I'm walking. I do just carry it, you know, with my arms straight down with it from the handles. And this shorter strap drop, relatively shorter strap drop compared to maybe some of the regular tote bags, um, is nice because it's not quite as short as like, you know, the 100 with the short handles um, and a ha real handbag. But at the same time, it's short enough that when I'm walking, I don't worry that the bag is sort of almost going to skim the ground. Uh, it's, it's, it's still hanging. It's relatively short. It's, it's hanging from my hand when my hand is just down by, by my side. So that's something I really do like about this bag. Also, because I noticed in some of these photos of some of these used um, Stephanie bags online, um, this part with the nice uh, pin tucking, uh, which is just the, you know, the, one of the really great features about this bag design, um, this part can look kind of softened and sort of wavy, like it's lost its structure. Because there, there definitely is something in here uh, stiffening this and giving it structure and support. Um, and when I, when I wash these bags and then I, I, like I've talked about, I will roll up some towels and plastic bags and, and stuff them in here to help the bag get a nice dry and a nice shape. I tend to like to make sure that the bag, that this shape is, is open like this. I like to train the bag to sort of stay open like that. A lot of the times when I carry the bag, if I uh, know that I'm not going somewhere too crowded where I might be, there might be pickpockets or whatever, um, I like to leave the bag open because I just love this like bucket-like shape. You can see how this needs to be stuffed a little bit. It's sort of still dented here. I need to re-wet that and get it to dry better in better shape. Um, but anyway, I, I just love this part, this whole look, that, that it's tapering up here, but then the, the sides bow out. I just love that. So it, this out loud but I do have another Stephanie on order on the way and I will do the same thing with that one although you know this is in good they're in relatively good shape the ones that I'm buying they're not too they haven't been too worn and so I don't think this stiffener that's in here has had a chance yet to really get very worn but um, that's always my goal when I'm letting these bags dry and reshaping them after laundering that I'm trying to get this bowed out kind of look. I just I just love that about this bag, and I love that when I carry it like this, it, it does that. I don't know why, <laughs> but I just I just thought I would mention that. I didn't mention that in the other Stephanie video, but I did bring a couple of other pattern pieces with me, different patterns because when I saw that that poor decapitated bird, <laughs> it made me think. I just I just had to have it you know it didn't matter I just had to have it it's so unlike me and then I realized there are two other things that I bought that that same I had that same reaction okay I know this is bad pattern placement but I I just I had to have it and this I was I, I still am probably but I was for a while there really strongly going through something with Bordeaux blooms and the dragonflies and I had this. I got this at Macy's, and I had a gift card, so it was substantially discounted for me. But I, you know, I was limited. I had to use this at Macy's, so I was looking around, and not a lot of the Bordeaux blooms stock at, at the Macy's near me, um, you know, had good dragonfly placement. It was very frustrating. But anyway, I did see this on the shelf. It was displayed sort of like this. It is. The names of these things. I think this is all in one cross body. I, I use it as a wallet. I took the cross, the wristlet uh, strap off, and I also I think there was a longer strap 
so you can use it as a crossbody. I would never wear something this tiny as a crossbody little thing. Um, but I love it as a wallet because I love a wallet that has a, any kind of section um, that unzips flat. I just I just love that feature. Anyway, so I saw this displayed in Macy's like this, and so I saw I saw the dragonfly. I'm getting great light here. Um, I would say that. And I got all excited, and then I opened it up, <laughs> and the, the part of the magnetic closure was, you know, cutting off the dragonfly, which is the larger dragonfly in the pattern. Now, there are the two people who are familiar with the pattern know there are two style dragonflies in the pattern, a small one and a big one. When I saw that, you know, it's just sort of my heart sank a little bit. I stood there for a while thinking about it. <laughs> I have my, there are no other dragonflies on here. I have my, you know, my gift card and I had to use it, burning a hole in my pocket. So, yeah, I just, I had to have it. That's another one. It's like, I know it's subpar to me, <laughs> my picky pattern placement standards, but I had to have it. So I got it. And the other one was this uh, Tavern on the Green. Is that 1990? I want to say. I mean, I guess a long time ago. I just, when I saw this um, online, it was also very inexpensive. I think $16 or something, and I think that might have even included shipping. Um, what appealed to me about this piece was, and I'm not, I feel like it, um, I'm not, I wasn't sure of the, um, bag name, but some of the wonderful ladies in the Vera Bradley Buzz Facebook group told me, uh, thought it was a swing bag, but they were a little thrown off because the strap was short. And I, I don't, didn't know anything about this style bag, but apparently it, had, it has a long like crossbody strap. Um, and so when I started to Google it, I saw, oh yes, it's supposed to have a long strap. And one of the women in the group who's like super expert at, at um, identifying styles and patterns from way back um, asked me did it look like the straps had been shortened and I at first I said no I looked and I I said no it looks fine but then I got under the put it under a bright light and I really started to look at it closely where the straps attached to the bag and one side has definitely been played with has been uh, adjusted and I know that from looking at sewing things because my mom was a sewer. Um, she's not alive anymore, but I have all her, I have her sewing machine and everything. I'm familiar with what sewing stuff looks like. Um, and it definitely had been adjusted. So that solved that mystery. But it, it didn't bother me so much because I. It was the short strap that actually appealed to me. I mean, I was never going to use this as a crossbody or, you know, I'll just use it when I don't want to bring much with me, just a wallet and my keys or something. But anyway, the pattern placement on this is not what I would normally go for. I mean, you can see it has poor pattern placement in a number of places. First, you have the, the giraffe here, who's not decapitated, but he, he is cut by this ribbon, the coordinating elephant ribbon. You can see it there, it's his head, <laughs> or her head, could be a her. On the back, the, this elephant, I think it's an elephant, yeah, it's losing its trunk. Um, over here, <laughs> uh oh, this side, this elephant baby is cut off, uh, and there we go. There's a, decapitation in progress there and <laughs> what else? Oh it got a good lion on the bottom. Like it threw me a bone there. Um and there are no none of the uh oh another oh there there that was another what a good one there. <laughs> I don't even know what that poor creature was. Um and this monkey is losing its butt. Um and I didn't get any zebras. I know there are zebras in this pattern and I have a fondness for zebras. So that's a little disappointing. 
But it's not like I'm not going to keep looking at stuff. And it was just a good deal. And it's in really good shape. I mean, it has no wear, you know. And this adjustment that this person made to shorten the strap, that's definitely why it was done, um, was done really well. Um, so I, you know, and it's still got the tag in it. The Vera Bradley, old, the old school Vera Bradley tag, made in the USA, uh, still back in the day with the instructions, the washing instructions and everything. So, um, it's, it's not, it, it was not what I normally would have gone for, but I, something came over me and I just had to have it. So, <laughs> I'm sure it could make a running video series. This could be the first part of the just had to have it uh, items when you throw all of your restrictions out the window, just buy something in a moment of weakness in the middle of the night. That's when my moments usually come in the middle of the night when I, <laughs> I can't sleep. Anyway, so, but that's my, that, those are my, my little ramblings today, but basically just, oh, there he is, the decapitated bird. I'll have to give him a name. <laughs> I love him even though he has no head. Um, this is my yellow bird, Stephanie, and uh, yeah, I'm just, just in love. Uh, can't wait to, for my husband to say, when did you get that? And then I just say, oh, this, I've had this forever. You've seen this before. Let's <laughs> see, see if it flies. Um, anyway, that's my bag. Even, I didn't use it today. I didn't need to take a bag anywhere today, and it is still damp, but it's still my bag of the day. So it's my love of the day.